Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace from Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Well, we're here in Buena Park, California at a project that I did about a year ago and uh, just come to do a little bit of a checkup and had some irrigation challenges, had to fix some irrigation. Uh, but down here in the parkway, people wonder if subsurface drip works from the standpoint of watering grass. Well, this turf has been in for a year now, and uh, the homeowner, he, he does his little cut on it about once a week or every two weeks, and uh, it's pretty thick. This is Marathon Original Turf. Uh, I'm pretty sure he hasn't fertilized yet, so I'm encouraging him to do a fall fertilization. But as you can see, the grass is very thick and it's uh, well-established. And the watering is uh, about 30 minutes twice a week uh, with the subsurface. We have the Netafim 0.9, um, <clears throat> 0.9 gallons per hour uh, emitters. And check that out. See, when you have turf, you have beneficials that come in. They like the grass. People say, ah, oh, grass, grass, turf, turf. But we're able to supply something for butterflies and other beneficials. And so turf in the right place is a good thing. Out here in the parkway, instead of doing a drought tolerant landscape or some shrubs and stuff like that, as you see up and down in the boulevard here, most everybody has grass in their parkways. So to do something entirely different would have been kind of out of the norm. And they, um, the gardeners that are around here, by the time they blow their grasses and stuff around and do their thing, it'll be a mess in here. So we decided just to go with the, the turf, which was a good um, decision. Uh, I talked with my representative, John Dominici from Southland Sod about his suggestions we put out here. He suggested I do St. Augustine because of the dogs and pet urine uh, stuff that could happen out here. But I went ahead and went with the um, the Marathon Original. And it looks like uh, it's very durable. It's very strong. We have a couple areas here on along the sidewalk where you can see where the Bermuda has came out on the edges here because the Bermuda that was in here at first um, it's probably had all kind of rhizomes and stuff underneath the sidewalk. And so some of those uh, rhizomes have just come out on the edges of the uh, of the uh, sidewalk here. So these will have to be isolated out and taken out of there. Shouldn't have did that because all I did is increase the amount of Bermuda that's gonna come up. <laughs> but along the edges there, we have to do something, uh, a selective killer to get that Bermuda out so it doesn't come back and take over the parkway. And there's one dandelion that I see here. It's one dandelion that managed to get itself in here. Urine spot, there's one urine spot right there. And people walk their dogs every day up and down this boulevard. So, uh, as you can see, subsurface drip will work if it's installed correctly, if you use the right materials, and if you use the right turf and have the proper watering sequence. We use the Beehive uh, Wi Fi system that has a smart feature on it, so we're able to really manage the water on this job site. So, there you go. There's a testimony for you. Ed Wallace, Midwest Landscaping. Tips and ideas, www.uniqueenvironments.com. Be sure to give me a thumbs up. Put your comments in there. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and uh, put your comments in there. I'd like to know some questions. I'd like to know what kind of questions you have or any kind of concerns related to horticulture or landscaping. I'm your guy. Stay tuned and watch another rabbit come out the hat.